So it says way at the top here, how many horrors can be fit into one box? Let's find out. Uncounted Horrors contains all of the Kickstarter exclusive content unlocked during the Deep Madness campaign. There you go. So this was the actual um, Kickstarter exclusive or Kickstarter stretch goal box. The one I opened up already, I'm guessing, was just another expansion. This includes a limited edition investigators, monsters, search cards, items, and markers. In addition, it holds the true ending scenario, which includes its own story and a new tile room. Nice. Or new room tile. Deep Madness would not exist without you and the other Kickstarter backers who helped us to bring this project to life. So we're incredibly grateful to you, and we could never do enough to thank you for being a part of the journey with us. We hope that you enjoy playing Deep Madness as much as we enjoyed making it, and we hope that this is the only... This is only the beginning of a beautiful friendship that will last for many years to come. There's a deep, dark, captivating world for us to explore. Let's go investigate. So that's pretty nice of them to uh, go ahead and thank the backers on the back of the box. So that's pretty cool. What we should do, though, is take this wrapper off and see what's inside. Our uncounted horrors. There we go. So, with the top of the box off, we got ourselves the expansion book. Looks like this. Then we've got an expansion overview, giving you an overview of the expansion itself. You got the components here. You can see there's some there's some nasty creatures in there. Oh, check that out. The Cthulhuish sculpture. That's awesome. Got some markers. Oh, that's gonna be really cool. Here's 17 monsters and three large monster figure bases in this one. So there's some pretty creepy looking guys, but I mean so far in this one there's been some Oh, nice. There's seven investigator figures and one John figure. Not too sure what that means. Um, so we got additional rules right here for the new investigators. Special monster cards, self-destruct system, important concepts. And then we have into our actual scenarios. So another Dawn is one. And uh, this is the game board. It's actually quite large. Um, and this, I believe, is the last one. This is supposed to be like the final scenario, maybe, in addition to the base game scenarios, would be my guess. Based on what I read on the back of the box. And that's it. So this is interesting. So let's take a look at what's inside of this from a component standpoint. So first off here, we've got the uh, new investigators that you can be in this one. So here we go with those. We've got uh, Amanda Weaver. So just the cat. So maybe this is the character that gets to use the cat, I'm guessing. Uh... Maybe John is the cat. Not sure about that, but I do remember getting a small cat miniature as a replacement here. Let me see here. This one, this is it right here. And it says, if I can read this properly, the brown cat is a replacement for the gray one packed in the Uncounted Horrors expansion. Yes. So maybe this is a replacement for a gray cat that's in here because they wanted to make sure that you knew that it was a friendly cat. Maybe. I don't know. Because uh, technically all the monsters are in gray. So that's kind of interesting. Good correction there. Charles Ryan. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, trapped in a tin can. That's kind of cool. So he can take a lot of sanity, but he is a tank for sure. Dakota Jan uh, Jansen. Stake it. Looks like a, a kind of a cop. Uh, David. Also not so good on the sanity side of things. Jacob. Uh, Priest. This is interesting. There's an asterisk there. So I'm not too sure how that works. I like that the bottom there it tells you what they are, what they do. Stephen Cooper. We've got the different enemies. So we got the uh, Thurster. That sounds terrible. The Atrocity. Ravenous. Uh, mutilation. Glutton. Cannibal. Remains. Those are all the different monsters. The bottom of this we got Quartermaster, Heavy Miner, Officer, Pilot, Relief Expert, and Secretary, Physicist. So that's the different jobs i guess that the miners perform would be my guest or occupation maybe in the mine uh so first off here on the very top we got some tiles so here's the new tile added in for probably the last scenario so that's pretty cool looking both sides it looks like i don't know if there's a side that's actually destroyed or not they look similar to me could be wrong but they look the same so that's cool, the final one there. Or maybe what that is more so is something that's happening off to the side. Who knows? Uh, here are the tokens for the game. So I can give you a rough idea. Some of the tokens to figure out exactly how they work within the game. Uh, we've got cards. Some more cards up here. Nice. It's always good to get more items. Okay, so here are the different, our new item cards. So we got the 
ice pickaxes. We've got the sludge hammer, got the revolver, the scatter gun, self-destruct system, second chance, the kick, <laughs> nice, the KS squad. I'm assuming that's the Kickstarter start squad, maybe. Uh, during your activation, you may remove this card from the game to search the draw and draw a card from the search deck or the search card discard pile. Uh, if you draw from the search deck, shuffle the search deck thereafter. Interesting. Thirst clause and there's the true ending. So these are the different maybe end conditions or things that can change or the different rooms that can get affected. That's kind of cool. So there are the cards there, very specific to the new scenario, but I'm guessing you can merge those other cards into the game fairly easily. Of course, you get these mini cards, which we know are going to be a boost up for the miniatures in the game, as well as representations for the investigators. So we should probably take a look through them. We've got uh, Amanda Weaver here. Got uh, Charles Ryan. So I'm just showing you the backs of these right now. Anyway, I'm going to flip around to the front so you can see those too. Um, and then, of course, these are actually the front of the monster cards. The monster cards look like that on the back, which is pretty cool. It's a nice back to the monsters. So Thirsters. Again, remember, the bottoms are different. I don't know exactly what that means, per se, but it is cool to see that difference across multiple cards. So again, those are going to just represent the ones that don't we don't already have cards for. Then we get to the exciting part of this whole tray of miniatures. More miniatures to add to the game. So let's see... What kind of wonderful friends will be joining us in the mines? So I got four pieces of tape to, tape to take off. I've got two of them off currently. Make that three. And lastly, four. All right, let's see what we got here. So I'm gonna actually drop that back into the box. Take off this piece here. Probably should have taken it off first. <laughs> stuck. Oh, there's another piece of tape there. Well, that's kind of strange. I thought I had them all. Maybe there was five. And there was five. That's weird. All right, so here is the tray. I do love the trays in the box because they keep everything nice and secure. We're going to pick these up one by one so I can show you each one inside the box because I think that would be useful. So very first one here is this guy looking pretty good. Let's see if I can get him to... There we go. Nice, decent detail on that. Don't know what it is. Can't uh, describe it to you, but I know that it's not... Uh, doesn't look nice. That guy's kind of cool looking. And we got these ones here. There's five of these. Uh, ooh, now that is a mess. That is a mess. That is a mess that you do not want to run into at all. There's hands, arms, legs. I don't know what's going on there, but that thing is nasty. And you've got this right here. Oh, I think that Cthulhu... Star so not this one, sorry. This is another... I don't know what that is. The Cthulhu statue might be a first player marker. If that is true, I'm a very happy person. This is really cool because I can actually use this first player marker not only in this game, but in many other games. I think that's what this is supposed to be. And if that's the case, that's extremely cool. Yeah, this would be really handy in games like uh, Eldritch Horror or Arkham Horror when you don't know whose turn it is because they typically use these tiny little pieces of cardboard. It's hard to see, so that would be handy for sure. That is disgusting, but it's also <laughs> super creepy. Then at the very top here, you've got your investigator. So this guy here with the crowbar is one individual. Of course, I should know their names, but I don't because I just met them. And that's how I roll, forgetting the investigators' names already. So here I'm just kind of showing you each one up close and personal so you get an idea of the different investigators that come inside the uncounted horrors. I want to say uncountered, a like counter with an R, but uh, I, in there, but uh, it's not. It's uncounted. That's pretty cool. And then we got these things, which I've maybe, I don't know what they are. They could be bombs. They literally could be a bomb. I'm not sure. There's six of them, though. Then over here, you've got two more investigators because there's a total of uh, five, six, seven of them. That guy's awesome. His pose is really, really cool. This is probably the coolest looking one just from its size standpoint and the fact that it's just a gigantic guy in a suit, mech suit. That's pretty cool. So these must be like stretch goal tokens 
for the different rooms. I have no idea, but they look really cool. I can't explain exactly what I'm looking at because I don't know what they're for just yet. But there's tons of them, so there's a whole bunch of these things inside this bag. So that's the majority of the bag. But then there's also a couple other things in there. There is this, yeah, it almost looks like a hatched egg of some type. There's the cat, and we know we have a replacement for the cat right here, the brown one instead. And we have this thing, which is a, I don't know what that is. So again, all markers likely used for something in the game. Uh, could be a first player token, could be markers, these could be markers for health or sanity. Uh, could be markers for rooms that have gone sideways. So that's essentially it. That covers the Uncounted Horrors expansion box for Deep Madness. Hopefully this was a good in-depth look at what you can expect to get inside the box. Of course, this is the stretch goal box that came with the original Kickstarter. So if I'm not mistaken, this may be available again in the upcoming uh, Kickstarter for you to pick up if they allow it. So that's pretty cool. So just hopefully shows you some of the extra content that's out there for the game. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, keep on rolling solo.